The letter from the Lawyers' Collective addressed to the Minister of Public Security, which will be sent to the President and Prime Minister, raises serious concerns about the Minister's disregard for the rule of law, fundamental rights and international legal obligations. The letter highlights several troubling aspects of the campaign. The Minister's statements indicate that he views laws as obstacles and disregards international legal norms as foreign influencers. The minister's repeated labeling of anyone who criticizes the campaign, including lawyers as drug dealers and addicts, is seen as a violation of freedom of expression and an attack on the legal profession. The minister's endorsement of Deshabandu Thendakun, who was found responsible for torture by the Supreme Court, as acting IGP is seen as a violation of the rule of law and a breach of public trust. The letter urges the minister to respect the rule of law and conduct the campaign in accordance with the constitution, existing laws and court rulings. It also demands that he respect the fundamental right to freedom of expression and allow for criticism and dissent without resorting to personal attacks on individuals. The letter urges him to uphold Sri Lanka's international legal obligations, which include respecting human rights treaties that the country has ratified. It calls for the minister to revoke his endorsement of Tenakun and allow for disciplinary action to be taken against him in accordance with the Supreme Court's findings. The letter concludes by reminding the minister of the true meaning of Yuktia, which is intrinsically linked to the rule of law. It urges him to act in accordance with democratic principles and constitution and to remember that he he holds a position of public trust that demands respect for the law, human rights and the Sri Lankan people.